Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. So in this video, I'm going to give you a step by step breakdown of how I have created this space scene in After Effects. So let's start. Okay, so here we have four compositions, one for Earth, then Comet, then Shooting Star and the Asteroid Belt. Let's focus on the Earth rotation. Now for the earth rotation, we can move the elements in X axis and apply a loop animation. So for that, let's turn off the clouds layer for now. Let's duplicate this green layer once again and put it over here. Then we are going to parent this layer with this one. And what we are going to do is we are going to exactly match this element position with this one and apply a loop expression. So simply move the whole thing in X axis and then apply a loop expression. So we can take the help of a ruler, maybe place a ruler over here. And let's move it in X axis first. So after that, add the loop expression. Now we can duplicate this layer two times, put one above and then one above this one and we can use this layer as an alpha mat. Alright, so we can do the same thing for the cloud as well. Let's duplicate this cloud layer one more time, put it over here and parent it with this one and do the same thing once again. So we're going to change the blending mode of cloud to overlay. And after that we can add an adjustment layer and simply add an effect called bulge to add some dimension for this sphere. Make sure to keep the horizontal radius and the vertical radius exactly same. And here you can see some dimension and here it's too much. We can slightly decrease it. Now it's looking better. So now for the stars, we can add a solid layer first. And then apply another effect called CC Starburst. Okay, so after that, we are going to play with the settings a bit. Maybe we can increase the scatter value very high to around 2000. And the grid spacing to around 12. And even play with the size a bit, maybe give it 60. Or increase it a bit to around 120. Now let's add a fill effect. Now let's add a glow effect. Let's check give decrease the threshold value to around 30. A radius of around 30. All right. So after that, we are going to duplicate this layer once again and Let's name it star glow. So here we are going to delete this glow layer and change the fill color to white. And just increase the size to around 160, maybe even more. And let's change the blending mode to overlay. And here you can get a flat style look for the star. Now after that we can add some wiggle effect to add a twinkling effect on the star. So for that, 
we're going to add a keyframe on the size in starburst and we are going to add a scale up and scale down animation so for the timing we are in 30 fps and i'm going to keep a timing of around 5 frames Okay, one more thing, just keep the speed zero. We don't want the stars to move. All right, now we can simply duplicate it one more time and simply play with the settings a bit, add some variation, even change the colors and you can get something like this. To add some variation, we can offset the keyframes a bit. Okay, now we can just pre-comp it all together. And make sure to turn on the rasterize so that the overlay blending mode is also applied on this background layer. Now let's talk about how to animate the comet. So let's start with applying a glow effect on this red yellow ball. So we are going to add a wiggle expression on radius. All right, now let's duplicate this glow effect one more time. And this time we are going to change the threshold to around 15. All right, now it's time for the red flames animation. So let's turn, change the layers to shape layers. So we are going to animate the path over here. And then we are going to add a loop expression for path. So to loop the path keyframes, we need to use this loop expression. You can get it from, if you search it on Google, you can get it from there. So right now the path is in a loop. So we're going to do the same for the glow effect as well. This white layer, let's convert it into shape. All right, now we are going to animate these lines. So for that, we are going to add trim path. And we're going to animate the offset property here. And let's add the loop expression here. And we are going to simply copy this trim path and just simply paste it in this shape. But make sure to paste it within the group. So select the group and paste it over here. And we can simply offset it a bit. And here is our comet animation. So to make this comment even better, we can add some particle animation as well. So let's make a new composition and we are going to increase the height a bit. And here we are going to add a new solid layer. And let's type in particle. And we are going to apply this CC particle world. Keep the birth rate to around 1. Then go to particle and we are going to give it faded and shaded particles, which is something like this. 
change the birth color and the death color to absolutely white it is going to make it something like this and after that we are going to change the go inside the physics and we are going to increase the gravity to 2 make it even narrow somewhat like this now let's increase the resistance to around 8 all right so here is our particle and i think we can decrease the density a bit so what we can do is we can slightly adjust the birth rate to around 0 0.6 and let's go to particle and give the death side size 0 and the birth size to around 0 0.2 and we are going to place it over here and we are going to offset the layer from where we can see the particle somewhere over here maybe scale it, scale it down a bit and here is our particle animation we can even add some glow effect on this one as well so add some glow now after that we are going to change this glow layer the blending mode to overlay so now it is going to look somewhat like this and next we are going to animate the shooting star as well so let's get inside the shooting star so for this one we can simply select the comet this yellow ball select both this glow effect paste it over here once again and we get this animation so we're going to just scale it up and down a bit so move the anchor point to somewhere over here for this one also somewhere over here and open the scale property put a keyframe and then jump on to next five frames and we are going to scale it down a bit and then copy and paste the initial keyframe to next five frames and this whole thing is in a loop so we are going to add the loop expression All right, so we can even add this particle effect in the shooting star as well. And also I feel like we need to change the sky blue color of the earth. So let's get inside the composition and let's add a fill effect. So we're going to give it something like this, a dark blue color of a sort. And press OK. Yeah, this one is looking better. And for the asteroid belt over here, I have just animated all the layers in X axis, then added some rotation to it and offsetted the keyframes to get this kind of look. So that is how I have animated the whole space scene in after effects so that is it for this lesson i hope you learned a lot from this lesson and apply it to your own projects so if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye